ladies, gentlemen, and the unknown species. Welcome back to Demon's Crest. We're near the end of the game, dude. So let's go and uh, come right here. Now, when you first enter this area, go to Air Gargoyle and just fly straight up. And just, just fly straight up. And we get the last urn. Look, what, there we go. I don't know why I couldn't do that. And when you're like this, you can just become. You can just stay as Aragor gargoyle and just um, finish this really quickly, pretty much. Now there's two areas to go through in this in the in this. Oh god, I don't want to die, dude. No! Oh, come on! Oh, nope, I went the wrong way. That's not the right... Well, it, that's one of the ways, but that's not the way I want to go. This is the way I want to go. Here it is. Right in here. And when we enter right here, we can just, uh... Go straight up. Come on. I'm a little afraid. Because I don't want to screw up and die. This, this part is not difficult, really. Kind of. However, there's two areas right here. And uh, we have to go into... No, let me get the money. Oh yeah, by the way, ice physics are in this! First, I'm gonna go here. You can break these things, and uh, if you really want to, you get money and whatnot. I just want to get one money, just to show off that you actually do get money. There you go. And then over here... Uh, what do you get? Another life orb. These are more things that you can break to get money. If you choose to, we're also close to the end of uh, maximum health. I have 18, maximum health is 20. So, we know one of them is from the mission thing that I still can't do. The uh, gambling thing, I should say. Whee! Oh god! Oh god! Alright. Let me just let me just switch to the air gargoyle because we might be the most useful here. All right. All right. Okay. Ah, oh, darn it. Ah, oh, darn it. Whoa, whoa. Okay, I only have two damage, health damages. And we come over here. And what do we get? Um, there we go. <laughs> we, I was wondering what, where the heck the end was. We get a boss. If you remember, we fought him. B4. And I think I died to him like 300 times. But uh, now we're gonna have an easier time fighting him because he's really easy with with this gargoyle. Eh. Eh. Alright, let me um see if I can... S Oh god! Oh god! Alright, 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 alright. We're gonna use this. It should attack him and kill him. Or at least do damage to him. Oh my god! 
All right, all right, all right. I don't want to die, so I'm just gonna switch to the ginseng and use it. Actually, I have a better idea. We're gonna switch to the death, and we're going to use it, and that should kill him. Did I miss him? No, I didn't miss him. I did get him. Where is he? There he is. And for killing him, we get... Full health. Hmm. Wonder what that means. Another boss, maybe? Maybe. Maybe not. So. Come over here. And, oh, come on, jump. Alright. Fine. We will play my way. Which is... Oh, good! Alright. We got some light in here. And then we'll quickly switch to air air aerial gargoyle. And we'll kill these guys. Oh, no! All right, and then uh, we'll switch to this gargoyle and light some more. No! Why? Why? No! Oh god! <coughs> oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! No! Alright, alright, let's switch to the Scargoyle. Alright, let's switch back to the area Gargoyle. And... Let's come over here, switch to this. No! No, no, no! Oh god, oh god, oh god, okay, okay. Let's light that up quickly. Let's uh, come over here, switch to gar ground gargoyle. Get over here, and we get the another talisman. This is the armor talisman, which you should be able to guess what it, what it, what, what it does, because um, armor, what does that tell you? So, we come over here, we have to uh, go into Aerial Gargoyle. We gotta fly up, fly up, fly up, fly up, fly up, fly up. Oh uh, no, we'll fly up a little bit more. No! Darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it! Oh darn it. Oh darn it, oh darn it, oh darn it, oh darn it. Alright, let's just quickly do this. Uh, and then, uh... No! Oh, come on! All right. Okay, and we're done with that part. Oh my lord, I don't know why that took me 300 million hours to do, but apparently it did. So let's get out of here. And I believe I want to start off with Buster. And I'll equip this. Hey! What do you have here? This is our final meeting, is it now? You shall go no further. Shall I? I will destroy you. Or die trying. Okay. Thanks, dude. So, what I want to start off with is use my death. I think it does a little bit of damage on him. Yeah, it does. But uh, what I want to do is equip my ginseng, cause well, ginseng. 
I don't like this boss too much, but uh, fighting this boss now is not too big of a deal because now we have Ariel Gargoyle, which we can attack him when uh, he goes really high up like that. Let me show you what I mean. He goes up, we go up, and then we just wail on him. It's not as useful because Ariel doesn't do as much damage as Buster. But it's good, you know, good enough. Oh god, I hit the wrong button! I hit the wrong button! I hit the wrong button! Oh god, oh god. Thanks for Jinsinks. Even whenever you screw up, Jinsinks are always useful. Buster, I think, is definitely more effective on this guy than anything else. But uh, when he goes up, you should probably go into this. Oh yeah, Whirlwind also doesn't affect Aerial Gargoyle. That's his new attack, by the way. Oh, darn it. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Got him. Awesome. All right. And you do possess incredible power. Firebrand. Yes, I do actually. Thank you. Oh, you're going to seal your power. You're going to seal it within this crest. Give me that crest. Give me that crest. Give me that green crest. Give me that green crest. Let it go around your body. Let it go. Oh yeah. And with that, I found the Crest of Time. With it, you can morph into El Gorgoyle, and your skin shall become like iron and decrease the damage done to you by half. Uh, El Gorgoyle is the legendary Gorgoyle, making it the most powerful, pretty much the most powerful thing in the game. So. Uh, this is just going to be a little bit of a longer episode. I just want to go straight back in here. And uh, pretty much I have a Jinsink and I have Legendary Gargoyle. So I'm just going to use Legendary Gargoyle and we're going to go through the next part of the game. Oh god. Yeah, uh, Legendary Gargoyle does a lot of damage, if you didn't know. He also takes very little damage, if you couldn't tell. Uh, my damn, my uh, health is also green, if you couldn't tell, or you're colorblind, because green is one of the colors that you can't see when you're colorblind. But, uh, yeah. That's beside the point. Well, not that you can't see it, you just uh, are going to kind of mix match colors. Essentially, is is what it is. But with El Gargoyle, you're kind of at a disadvantage in a way because you can't, you still can't destroy some of these things. Uh, you still need to morph into Aerial Gargoyle to fly, you still need to morph into Ground Gargoyle to... Um, destroy those things you still need to morph into the swimming gargoyle to well swim and uh, over here right over here we can just switch right here and get our last vellum 
Now we have five urns and we have five vellums. But that's beside the point, I think. Right over here is the boss. So, this boss is, I think, probably the hardest boss in the game. Because when he's green, you can't attack him. And he can stay green as long as he wants to. He also does a lot of damage, even with my armor. My armor talisman on and this legendary uh, gargoyle's powers. He's destroying me, essentially. Look at that. Oh god. Alright. And with that, we get him out. And for beating him, we get a piece of the fire crest called Demon Fire. This is the most powerful fire in the game in the realm, excuse me. And if you have the legendary crest, the boss is pretty easy. But if you don't, then uh it's difficult as heck. Anyways, with that, uh, as you can see, there is another uh, yellow light that's just to the right of uh, level 3. We can now pretty much fight the final boss. So that's what we're going to do next time. So thank you guys all for watching. Well, the boss. Uh, end game, pretty much, is what I'm trying to say. Thank you guys all for watching, and if you enjoyed this video in any capacity, hit that like button. Don't forget to share this with your friends and family, and next time we're going to go over there and um, fight the boss. Until next time, don't forget to rub the rubber ducky. Follow Exceed on Twitch. The link is down below. below.